highly. How do we cal go about calculating break-even in units? Yes. Fixed cost plus what? Operating. That's not what you said before. Yeah, it was definitely one. Because <laughs> you said operating costs, not op yes. So it's fixed cost plus operating income divided by con contribution margin per unit. Yes, ma'am. Is it what or what? Volume. Volume, not value, but volume for that V in cost, volume, profit. Do I slur? A little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm talking fast, so yeah, it just kind of goes out. Break even in dollars. Kristen, please. Contribution. No. What are you? What you? Are you a marketing major? No. Anthony, can you help her? Huh? Margin. Yeah, contribution margin ratio. So say it all again. Yes, but say the whole formula again. Plus. Yes. Very good. Because I didn't hear the second word you said after operating. Fixed cost plus operating income divided by contribution margin ratio. How do you go about calculating contribution margin per unit? Brett? Uh, the dollar price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Yes, it is. Selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit equals contribution margin per unit. Will, do you know how to calculate contribution margin ratio? Maybe not. Nicole, do you know? Yes. Contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit. You can also calculate the contribution margin ratio in total, right, using in total information. Sarah, how, what's that calculation going to be like? Yes, contribution margin divided by revenue. Precisely correct. Precisely correct. Class! Darren, look up. Class! At break even, net income is? Zero. That was okay. Class! At break even, net income is? Zero. That was a little better. Class! At break even, net income is? Zero. And you didn't even say anything. You laughing too hard? <laughs> He's laughing too hard to actually say anything. What, what, What's so funny about that? I just want you to remember. He, yes, sir, Mr. He's laughing so hard he can't speak, and you're yawning. We need to need to you two need to meet in the middle. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Operating income. That's a very good question. Which one should you use? As of this point in time, they should general they should get you the same number. Variable cost. Variable cost yeah. Because that's the one that gives us all the information we need to do this breaking calculations, right? Variable costs, fixed costs, all the stuff we need to know to do these these break-even calculations come from the variable costing income statement format. Yes, sir. Contribution margin per unit is calculated as selling price per unit minus variable costs per unit. That's it. No, because that's, you put it over something and we got a ratio. Yes, ma'am. That, oh, no. It's a multiple choice test. No. No, you don't have to. I just did that for grins and giggles because I like saying voila. How are we doing there, sir? Huh? 
What about contribution margin? Oh, yeah, the, for you, the, How do you What's the variable cost of the income statement format, sir? You need to put all your notes in your handy hand outs. That I would encourage you to do. Okay. That would be a good way to study. That would be a good study. study some. There you got it. Revenue minus variable cost equals contribution margin, right? You got it? Okay, awesome. Revenue minus variable cost equals contribution margin, which is just the variable costing income statement format. Okay. Revenue minus variable cost equals contribution margin minus fixed cost equals operating income. Okay. Um, now what? JJ, now what? Anything else? Break even? Oh, tell me if you would please. The Remember I had you put a, on the CVP intuition page, I had you put a star by two formulas. Give me the first one. Precisely correct. Total revenue equals variable cost plus fixed cost plus operating income. What's the second one, Rebecca? Uh, time price equals Ooh, times what something? Of X. Times X. Precisely correct. Selling price per unit times X, which in this case is volume, equals variable cost per unit times X plus fixed cost plus operating income. Right? Yes. What? Am I wrong? In the pro particular problem we did, yes. But it, it may not always be true. Now, when did I suggest you use those two formulas? Brittany? You were looking just so relaxed because you thought it was going to be a long time until your card was pulled again. You have absolutely no idea. Uh, yes? Is expressed as a percent. Yes, exactly right. So when desired income is expressed as a percent of something else, that's when I suggest you use the horizontal formula. Okay? And will there be a problem like that on the test? Probably. Darren, how are we doing? Asked what he said or I said? Did I say it good or not so good? Okay. Anything else? And see, Jeff jumped in, used up his card. Not Jeff, Evan jumped in, used kind of kind of right when he knew his card was coming. So he 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 knew the answer, got in there, and now we're moving on to Jeff. <laughs>